and uh, we were joking off air just saying that we still can't believe the sun has risen it's almost quarter past seven here in Cape Town you know I have to tell you us uh, well I say Joburg because I live in Johannesburg so I, I, I find it quite amusing that I'm still waiting for the sun to rise Cape Town no wonder you take it easy in the mornings okay maybe your hard work is at night but in the morning no nah, I don't blame you I'd also be fast asleep in bed well the reason that we're broadcasting uh, from uh, Parliament of course it's the State of the Nation address this evening seven o'clock the president is expected to deliver his seventh State of the Nation address to the nation and uh, this is his first of the fifth democratically elected parliament so there you have it so that's uh, that's all the uh, the the official speak here this morning and uh, we're looking forward to it because this is the second one that he's going to be delivering this uh, this year because the first one was in February and uh, is customary for uh, a uh, election year that there are two state of the nation addresses with the opening of parliament so uh, this has been lots and lots of planning in the pipeline and uh, it's all systems go now the house is expected to debate the president's state of the nation on the 24th and 20 5th of June and then the president will uh, reply on the 26th of June so that's what you can expect for the rest of the month here but let's get a little bit more of a, 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 a view from the ANC and joining us here on the program is Susani Stone who is the chief whip of the party it's good to have you welcome to the program good morning Leah good now the expectations for Parliament what are the ANC's expectations well we expect the president to based on the good story uh, of South Africa today and based on a need to move South Africa forward uh, to emphasize on the centrality of the economic uh, development in our country, economic growth emphasis and emphasize on the five priorities that we have uh, agreed must, we must pursue to make sure that the NDP is anchored are, is, is an anchor of all the activities of our nation. Yeah. Let's talk about those five priorities. What are they? Well, uh, we as the ANC, and we expect the president to emphasize that, we are still maintaining education, health, fighting crime and corruption. We're emphasizing on rural development and land reform, emphasizing on making sure that there are jobs, jobs, jobs in our country. Yeah. through economic development. Yeah, certainly is. And we, we find ourselves in a difficult position for the economy. And I imagine that the president will be focusing in on that tonight, talking about the mining strikes, how much it's cost the economy, our growth here in South Africa. A lot of people concerned about the economy. I think that really is stealing, uh, stealing center stage today. Well, uh, yeah, the president uh, uh, will leave uh, the issue of bargaining for wages in the bargaining chamber but emphasize on the cooperation and negotiation of the employers and the employees uh, in the workplace. Uh, the, the president is more uh, worried about uh, the economy growing yeah. by the cooperation uh, between the workers and the employers. And the president will uh, do whatever it takes to make sure that there's harmony at the workplace. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that's the immediate challenge? If, 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 if we put that in, the growth of the economy, which is massive, what are some of the other challenges? Well, uh, South Africa has to make sure that our local authorities, especially local government, are functioning properly because service delivery is hampered when the municipality is dysfunctional, when there's no leadership in the municipality, when the, the management of the municipality is unable to drive the workers to make sure that the work is being done in the every municipality. Uh, also, local economic development must be emphasized to make sure that all leaders in municipality Quality, emphasize in job creation, emphasize in economic growth at the local government level, and make sure that all the environments in our localities make the people feel safe where they live and make sure that the police do their job to make sure that they apprehend all the criminals. Yeah. This year, um, obviously, each year, Parliament adopts a theme. The theme this year, which is also uh, emblazoned on the bust that was revealed earlier this year in April, is commemorating the 20th anniversary of the of a democratic parliament talk to us more about this well in our celebration of uh, the 20th of democracy in South Africa we insist on making sure that the celebration is reflected in our ability to create jobs in our ability to make uh, uh, education 
a center of our activity and our ability to make sure that our own government is able to service our people efficiently and sufficiently and, and making sure that uh, we have a crime-free society and making sure that we are able to uh, drive uh, South Africa forward. Yeah. Have you spoken to the president? How's he feeling? Is he feeling strong and fit for today? I'm sure he's rested ahead of this. So it's a big, it's a big day for him. Well, I've been uh, busy here in Parliament making sure that we're setting up committees, making sure that uh, Parliament is ready for the State of the Nation address and driving the program that the President will leave uh, with us here. So I've not been able to talk to the President. Mm -hmm. I'm assured the President is in good spirits, is healthy as well. Good, good. We look forward to seeing him fit and uh, and ready for his uh, his next term in office. Thank you. Thank good. you, Leah. Stone Cezani, thank you very, very much. The Chief Whip here uh, of the ANC uh, talking to us ahead of the uh, State of the nation address as you know seven o'clock this evening that's the time that the president will be taking to the podium to deliver his address but from around about five o'clock there's going to be the uh, the, the uh, uh, red carpet where you're going to see everybody arriving dressed to the nines so that's something we'll be capturing for you as well